The Olympic Winter Games didn't see the NHLers come onto the scene until 1998 in Nagano, Japan. Prior to that, the World Championships featured Canadian teams which hailed from various communities across the country. In 1959, the championship in what was then Czechoslovakia featured the pride of a town in southeastern Ontario. That year, the Belleville McFarlands ruled international ice. The Belleville McFarlands are often called legendary, but they're not a legend. Those mighty Macs were real. Red Berenson was real when the McFarlands, already the senior amateur hockey champions of Canada, went to Bratislava and Prague for the 1959 World Championships. Red scored nine goals in eight games. Gordy Bell was real. He was perfect between the pipes when the mighty Macs squeezed past Switzerland 23 to nothing. And player coach Ike Hildebrand was not just really outstanding with six goals and six assists, including the game winner against the Soviet Union. Give it to Hildebrand, he shoots his goal! Hildebrand for Bradley! Man, oh man, oh man! For the Max, just getting to Europe was a real struggle. In the Allen Cup final, the Max were down three games to one to the Kelowna Packers in a series that was played entirely in British Columbia. Still, the Max battled back to win Game 7, a trip behind the Iron Curtain and one of Canada's most magical world championships. Back in Belleville, 200% of the population came out for their victory parade. Now that's unreal. Presenting the induction of the Belleville McFarlands Ontario Sports Hall of Fame, President Mark Gravett. Mark, if you could come forward. And here to accept the induction on behalf of the McFarlands, this is a great moment, is NHL great stalwart of the international game for Canada, the wonderful Gordon Red Berenson is here tonight. You ever hear that saying, what am I doing here? And that's the feeling I had in January of 1959 when I got a call from Billy Ray, ex-coach of the Leafs, remember? And Billy had scouted me, I guess, in junior hockey and, and asked me if I would join the Belleville McFarlands for their world championship tour and tournament. And so I said, who are the Belleville McFarlands? And he said, well, you know who the Penticton Vs were in the Warwicks when they won in 55? And you've heard of senior hockey, and I grew up in Regina, so I knew all about senior hockey. But I didn't realize that if you won the Allen Cup, you had the privilege of representing Canada. So I was a freshman at University of Michigan when Billy Ray called me. And I drove up to Belleville in an ice storm, slid into a snowbank, just missed the gas tanks in the gas station or I wouldn't be here, and made it. And that night we played, it. the next night we played one game. And the guys here, there's only, you know, we should have done this 20 years ago. Because there's only four of us left. And there's three of us here tonight. I was the youngest player on the team and I'll be 84 next month, and I'm still the youngest player on the team. So, I want to introduce two of our players that are here. There's another one in the hospital, Davy Jones, but Pete Conacher's here, and Lionel Botley's here. Can you guys try and stand up, please? Good for you. 
And what a great hockey name Conacher is. As we all know, if you read your hockey history or football history, Conakers were huge. And this was a great thrill for me to join the team and play with Pete and so on. But it's too bad all these guys, like you heard about Ike Hildebrand, was one of the last playing coaches to play competitive hockey. And Floyd Crawford was our, and he's a Belleville resident and so on. We miss Floyd, but uh, we, we have a lot of the family are here. The players aren't here, but their families are here. They're still proud of what their parents or grandparents did way back when. And the reason I know it was way back when, because 1959, that was the year I got married. And my wife and I are still here, so I can remember 64 years ago. So here are the guys. Here are some of the, I want the family members to stand up from the Belleville McFarlands. Please stand up. Ladies and gents. Good for you, and I can't name all the names, but Gordy Bell was mentioned. He was a 40-year-old goalie when I was 19 on that team. And Al Dewsbury could shoot the puck as well as anybody in his day. And Mo Benoit was big and strong and tough. And J.P. Lamorandi was a Doug Harvey in his day. And he was a showman as good as it gets when you watched him play and listened to him and so on. They had, and Floyd Crawford, as I mentioned, was the captain. And they only played four defensemen in those days. And, and we had a lot of fun, quiet in the back. We had a lot of fun, and we had a lot of pressure. Because when we got to Prague, which was behind the Iron Curtain, and we felt it, and we watched the Russians play the Czechs. This is before any, any NHL foreigners or Russians or Europeans were in the league. They were all there. So we played the best Russians, the best Czechs, the best Swedes, and the best Finns. And we got booed out of some rinks, but we knew how to win. These guys were great guys, great leaders, and great comrades, if you would, as a team playing in Europe and found a way to win and make their city proud. And one of the reasons this team is finally recognized is because of the mayors in Belleville. And Mitch Panchuk was the first contact to say, why isn't the Belleville McFarlands? Why don't they get some recognition in this area? And Neil Ellis has also carried the torch. Would you guys stand up? Because that's what made it happen. That's why we're here. So that's enough of that. I mean, it's, it'll never go away for the families and the friends, and I wish it would have happened earlier. I'm looking forward to hearing from Brendan Shanahan. I'm a big Brendan Shanahan fan because I know he's special. And the reason I realized he was special, when I started coaching in Michigan and I watched an exhibition game and St. Louis was playing Detroit and Detroit was up about four goals and it was the last minute of the game and they were up like four to one and they were killing a penalty. And here's this guy comes out and blocks a shot in the last minute of an exhibition game. I said, who the hell is that? And that was Brendan Shanahan. And that's what he brings to a team. He's not just what you think he is. He's more than that. So I'm privileged and pleased to be here for Brendan tonight. And I hope you guys remember about Belleville McFarlands. Go Blue. Thank you so much, Red, and congratulations to all those involved and who are here representing the Belleville McFarlands tonight, one of the great hockey teams in Canadian history.